Oh my god, please be enough. Yo, what's up everyone? Lad here. The Largo Cup finally arrived. We were able to defeat him and take him home. This battle relies heavily on RNG and is very dependent on you having certain characters. Let's go over my clear of this cup. <laughs> Starting with our first character, 9S, everyone's favorite. He's the only character at A4, so keep that in mind. He's also using the Origin weapon, and I would highly suggest you also equip an Origin weapons onto all your characters for that added 300 HP. Nextly, his equipment and the others, they're all equipping the latest Berserk set with balanced stats. Most importantly, his speed should be around 380 to 390, as we're using him as an emergency heal with his repair ability. And Largo's original speed is at 374. For abilities, you want to prioritize his P shield, Volt, and his repair ability. Next, A2. She's at A3 and using Theo's accessory, but it could definitely be left out. But because it provided extra attack and defense, it's good to have. Abilities you want to prioritize on her is her Berserk Mode, Double Wide Burst, and Triple Slash. Then Cyrus. Again, I would highly suggest Origin Weapons or even Twilight Weapons for the added 300 HP. He's using another A4 accessory, which is 9 S's, but that can be replaced with another speed accessory. Prioritize his 3 hit ice attack, lightning, and his ice nuke. And then Therion. Prioritize his Hellfire, Training Dagger, and Paralyzing Tooth. And then for Elfin, his Vivify, Warfold Icicle, and his Regen Ability. For Ophelia, make sure you get her speed at least to 340 to 350, so she can go in between enemy turns and get a heal in. For abilities, prioritize Preservation, her Regen Ability, and her AoE Heal. Then Viola, prioritize Double Wide Burst, Debilitate, and Anti-Attack. And then finally Lars, prioritize his 3-hit Wind Attack, 3-hit Sword AoE Attack, along with his Energize Ability. Not a bad squad. For Largo's skills, he has a Whirling Blow, which is a 2 hit AoE attack, and it does about 700 to 900 damage each, and that's if your defense is about 500 and above. And then his next ability is the Innovated Poison Spear, which is a 1 hit plus poison chance, and that usually does about 1100 to 1300 damage. And then he has a Fire Soul Stone, which is an AoE fire damage attack, which does about 700 to 1000 damage, and this is again if your ultimate of defense is above 500. And then starting at phase 2, he'll start throwing out the Fire Soul Stone Extra Large. It's an AoE fire damage that does about 1600 to 2000 damage. So for his ultimate at phase 1 which is at 100% and phase 2 at 85%, he uses an ability called Bombo. It's a 3 hit random target fire magical damage and also inflicts bleed. And you can expect about 1000 damage to 1200 damage each head. And his ultimate phase 3 and after, He'll start using an ability called Bolt Bow, which is a massive one hit lightning damage with chance of paralysis, and this usually does about 3100 to 3700 damage, and even more, chances are you won't survive this attack. And at the final phase, when you defeat one of the add ons, Largo will activate his ability called Largo's Boost Shoes. It's a permanent self speed up and it also adds an additional act on the turn order. So in phase 1, the Largo Sentinel 1 skills, the one on the bottom, will automatically apply cover to Largo at the very first act. So even though its act is not first on a turn order, it will automatically go for a cover. And then once it recovers from break, it goes back to covering. And then for our attack abilities, it has Bite, which is 1 hit physical damage that does 1100 to 1300 damage. And then Thrash, which is a 1 hit AoE attack that does 1000 to 1300 damage. And then for the Largo Sentinel 2, which is the monster on top, it has two abilities, the Fire Soul Stone, which is a one hit AoE fire magical damage that does about 400 to 800 damage to your entire team. And then its next ability is a one hit fire magical damage that does around 800 to 100 damage. For his first phase, you want to spend the majority of your turns trying to cast 3 Preservations with Ophelia at 3 BP or higher. So recovery at 75% or 100% HP when the character gets knocked out. You want to cast this on to your most squishy characters. I chose Cyrus, Lars, and Viola. Leave one preservation in case things go sour. In the first phase, after you take out the two add-ons, go for as many debuffs as you can onto Largo, and recover as much SP as you can, and also start building your ultimates. If you're using A2, you need her to not proc her 1 HP passive, as you need to save this for her last phase when you activate Berserk mode. So for this phase and the next phase, you don't have to worry about his ultimate, as again it's a 3 hit random target attack that only does about 1100 to 1300 damage. Once you feel confident, move to the next phase to trigger the 85% HP mark. Visually, it is the corner of the ice weakness box. Look at that for reference. Good heal. Oh, 
Then the Saris. Don't need a heal. Maybe just onto himself. More time. On phase 2 or at 85%, you want to focus on the lower sentinel as it has cover. The one on top isn't as threatening and you can choose to ignore like in my clear. For the Largo Sentinel 3 skills, again the monster in the bottom automatically applies a cover onto a Largo at the very first act. It has the same skill as the last one, it has a one hit AOE attack that does about 1000-1300 damage and, and, and now has an AOE physical attack up for 3 turns. The enemy on top, the Largo Sentinel 4, 
It has a Shadow Soul Stone, which is a one-hit AoE dark magic attack that does about 700 to 900 damage, and then a Shadow Soul Stone Large, which is a one-hit AoE dark magic that does a bit more damage at 900 to 1200 damage. And watch out as well, because it now has an AoE HP recovery for 16,000 HP, and it also has an AoE elemental attack up for three turns. So this phase is pretty much like the last phase. Make sure you take out the Sentinel on the bottom, and then start conserving SP and go for as many debuffs as you can. Or if you can, you can also take out the one on top. But essentially, you want to start building your boss and getting ready for the next round. Oof. Dang it. Hmm. Break. Heal. You'll be okay. But I, again, yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> I'm down for that. It's a nice heal. This is the second form, so his ult, his ult is not too scary yet. Go for a double wide burst. Good. One last person, one last person we gotta worry about. Or enemy. Oh, by the way, I can manage to get a thousand warrior shards. To trade with the gold teal. Thanks again. Yeah, for real. Nice. That's gonna be huge. Yeah. Go for a heal on two. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's no fun. Man, I've been fighting against this guy for like the last seven hours and jeez. He's clapping my cheeks. Preservation. Let's go for a vivify. Let's go for a break. That's a charge. Ideally, I want A2's um, SP to be at least full. We're starting the next uh, round. Uh, yeah, for the battle, for the weapon class that needs a battle tested weapon as a base upgrade, does it consume a BT weapon permanent? Yeah, it consumes a, a battle tested weapon permanently. Can I break it to? Can I break it to bring back the BT weapon? There's a new weapon. Nope. So once you use it, it's just pretty, pretty much gone. So you can't like disassemble it or any of that. So you have to go farm for more uh, those uh, history fragments. And they're not too bad again. Yeah. 
Oh, jeez. Damn, 2,000 HP recovery. Sheesh. I got the uh, BT weapon recently for some classes. But shall I use it till the Berserk weapon storage after for consuming for an upgrade? Uh, can the BT weapon be used till the Bestower chapter 3? Uh, what do you think the best way to gain the XP? Are you playing this game on your phone or are you playing on blue slacks? Because a lot of people just macro the farm for um, EXP nuts. Let's go for real. Yeah, it's the uh, Augustine fight. So mainly for me when I uh, uh, grind for my nuts, that's the macro that I use. Okay, A2 is good. Let's go for breaker. <laughs> How's it going, Latte? Oh, yeah, you can definitely farm Kate's as well, too. During the uh, beginning of the game, I uh, just started. Finding Kate was pretty hard. Yeah, let's go ahead and save this for now. We'll just keep buffing up our defense. Just keep Cyrus up for now. Don't want uh, to be able to die. We should be okay. Phase 3. The third phase is at 65%. Visually, it's 3 fourths left of the ice weakness box. Once you get here, again, you want to take out the lower sentinel as fast as you can. For the larger sentinel 5 skills, the one on the bottom, again, it has a cover and it has a single slash, which is a one hit physical damage attack that does 1100 to 1300 damage. 
and it has an AoE slash, which is a one hit physical attack that does 900 to 1200 damage, and it has an AoE physical attack buff for three turns. For the large Sentinel 6 skills, or the one on top, it has the same abilities as the last phase Shadow Sword Stone, which is a one hit AoE dark magical attack, which does about 700 to 900 damage, Shadow Sword Stone, which is a three hit random target dark magical attack that does about 900 to 1100 damage each hit. And then a Shadow Soul Stone Large, which is a one hit AoE Dark Magical Attack, which does about 900 to 1200 damage. And it also has an AoE HP recovery of 23,000, so watch out for that. And it also has an AoE Elemental Attack up buff for 3 turns. For this phase, once you get a break onto a lower enemy, you want to burst him down with A2 or Therion's Ultimate, ideally both at level 9 to take him down. Then repeat what you did last 2 phases, recover SP. Also super important, his ultimate is now a one hit KO ability. Chances are you'll probably not survive this attack. If you see Largo going for his ultimate, make sure you go for a break. Once broken, use his turn as a recovery turn and get as much SP as you can as he won't go into his next threshold if you don't push him there. Once he recovers from his broken status, start breaking shields until you get him to a comfortable number that you're sure to break him. Get him as close as you can to the 45% mark which is shown. I want him out of here. And let's go for... Let's go for Rez. That should kill. Let's shoot defense down here. Nice. Which unit am I looking forward to the most? Uh, right now, it's going to be... Uh, uh, should be okay here. I don't think anyone's dying. He's probably going to go for a buff. Alright, so we gotta get ready for his phase 4. Go for an anti attack. Attack. We'll keep up our debuffs for now. Jesus, pretty slow. I think we should be okay. I think we play it safe. Let's go for a heal in between. Oh, we went for a buff. Gotta be careful, I don't want him to reach his next phase yet. Oh 
man. He had to use that darn ability. Jesus. So much for Lars. That's fun, we can go for a break. Let's attack a viola. Hits went to four, eight. Ophelia auto res fallen. Yeah, she does have that ability. It's called the um preservation, I think it's called. Yeah, preservation. It doubles as a auto revive and also a, as a revive. Enough for her passive, she pretty much has an auto revive herself. I think I'm gonna play it safe and let's see. This is the time to now activate A2's Berserk mode. You'll want to get as many turns as you can. Go ahead and max BP it for 9 turns. And then go to the next phase. Dagger. We got anti attack. So the auto revive after casting doesn't expire in certain monsters. Nope. It, it doesn't expire. It'll be there forever. Until the uh, unit dies. Phase 4, or the last of his add-ons, visually is in the middle of the bow weakness box. Use that as a visual cue as his 45% HP threshold. If you're using the same exact team, you want to focus on the sentinel on the top as Cyrus can take out the one on the bottom. For the crimson sentinel on the one on the bottom, his skills, like the rest of the other phases, it automatically applies cover. For his abilities, he has a double slash, which is a two hit physical attack that does about 900 to 1300 damage each. It has an AoE slash, which is a one hit physical attack that does 1000 to 1400 damage. And then has an AoE physical attack up and defense up for three turns. And has a self restoration of 11,000. And it also recovers his shield. For the Azura Sentinel, the one on top, it has a three hit lightning random target attack that does 700 to 900 damage each. And then it has an AoE Lightning Magical Attack that does about 900 to 1300 damage. And it also has an AoE HP Recovery for 26,000, so watch out for that. And also an AoE Elemental Attack and Elemental Defense up for 3 turns. Also take notice that once you take out one of the Sentinels, the other one will go for a cover, so watch out for that. Ideally, you want to take them both out at the same time, as once one add-on dies, Largo activates his final phase where he gets a permanent speed boost and he gets another act on the turn order. From here on out, once you take out both add-ons, do your best to survive and hope for good RNG. And hope that Largo doesn't use constant AoE attacks. Let's see, let's also bring in... Cyrus. And back to the result. Okay. 
Gotta go for a heal. Nice damage. One more time. Get out of here. Alright, well the bad thing about that is no. He goes three times. Half HP. Two's probably dead here. Not good. So three six, perfect break. Region into E2 back. So who's gonna die? Huh? Please be Elfin. Come on, Elfin. Get Elfin. Ah. Jeez, the RNG in that. <laughs> so fast, jeez. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh my god, he didn't die. No, he might have lost because of that. Jesus. How did he not die from that? Felt oh, so weak. Oh boy. Dang it. Man, how much HP does he have? Jesus. Once he's by himself, he no longer has access to attack buffs, so his damage becomes somewhat manageable. But don't get too comfortable, as he goes 3 times in a row now. Make sure you keep your debuffs on him, and get his shields down to a point where you can easily break him, once he activates his ultimate, as that will still one-shot you. As long as it's not Ophelia, it should be okay. But in the case that is Ophelia, let's go ahead and res her. Or use auto revive on her. Need a feeling is all. Okay, that's not bad too. No, where's our three-head attack when I need it? Oh man. I need Ophelia not to die this round. Come on, don't do it. Oh, thank god. Oh, 
Alright, that's the last of my Rezzas. Three turns in a row. Jeez. That affects. Oh, I don't like that attack. Don't do it again. Oh, nice. Thank God. Yeah, Ophelia is the best support in the game right now. She is. She is in a category by herself. She's insanely good. We still have one pomegranate panacea left. I like that. Uh, which banner was she on? Oh, she's on the permanent pool right now, so you can get her if you're lucky. Or if RNG isn't so bad to you. Okay, do I have enough? I don't think I do. Oh, I might. Three, Cyrus, let's go. I don't think I have enough. Jeez. Four, seven, and oh, I do. Perfect. Twelve. Hey, we're in tier two. It is HP down to red. Attack. Come on, split them damage. Oh, okay. We're okay. That's pretty scary. You two shouldn't get. Thank God. Bring Nana's through front. Okay, hopefully. Defense up. Ooh, jeez, I don't like that attack. Please don't spam that again. Don't do it. Oh my god, Ophelia died. Oh, just kidding, she's back. Huh. Oh yeah, that's because uh, I put the preservation on her before. Still too close for comfort.
I think we should have played it safe and do a heal instead. That was pretty bad. Oh my god, you son of a gun. Why would you aim all that onto E2? Jesus. That's so annoying. This is unlucky. Uh, looking at my team here. I can't break. I mean, I can. Let's see, two, five, six. Magic steel double. I uh, really need him to die soon. I can't keep on doing this. Yeah, let's go and buy it so slow. Alright, are we gonna survive this? Let's find out. Ah, oh, dang it. Jeez, that's so close. Niners. That's unfortunate. It had to be an elfin. We have enough. Oh, Jesus, Alfin died. No. Oh, my God, that's annoying. Ah, oh, unlucky. Yeah, I don't think we're going to survive this. Let's, uh, use. Lars has a body bag. <laughs> and Viola as well, too. We're out of heals too. Now we need to get. Oh, 
ターグラキウス No, Osiris. She's all so close. <laughs> Two smacks from Ophelia. And let's go, Nine S. This is all I've got. Is it enough? I think, I think we'll be okay. Finish it, Viola. Oh my god, please be enough. Yes, we did it! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, after seven hours. Jesus Christ. Darn it. Oh my god. Oh, thanks. <laughs> To anybody who's attempting this cup, good luck. And, uh, geez. May RNG be with you. Because that fight sucked. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh boy. Alright. Come on home, Largo? Well, since we got him, let's go check him out. Man, it's like battles like these where I get like super anxious and my hands kind of start shaking a little bit. Because, man, that was the last round <laughs> I had. Otherwise, if I can beat him there, I lost. Jeez. Largo. I swear to god, if we use him, he better come with like eight add-ons or something. <laughs> Our clear was a bit close, but nonetheless, we achieved victory. Let me know how your battle goes and if this helped you out. Like always, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you next time. Light out.